this is everyone else is using. Um, they are connecting it to uh, F23 connecting rods and that's what it uh, stamped PAA so that's F23 and if you look at the bolts uh, you're actually supposed to change the bolts you can buy one from Honda ARP doesn't offer these bolts so it's better to start with new but me I I reused the bolts I never had any problem with it as long as I still get the, the correct uh, stretch on there or the proper torque I didn't change the bolts that's the reason why I modified this to make it flush so it will not give me a too high compression ratio and it's safe to use a pump gas if you're using a E85 you'll be okay the stamp PAA is always facing the timing belt so you have to install your piston like so hello everyone welcome back to the channel uh, today's episode is a uh, parts list on how to build a G23 VTEC this is the uh, parts list version 2.1 what I have here is an F23 block just like you see <laughs> uh, we'll just pretend that this is a, an F23 block and before I start mentioning all the parts that we needed is always ask yourself what kind of engine setup are you building if you're building a naturally aspirated and that is what I am going to talk about the parts that we needed is of course an F23 block because we want the 97 millimeter crankshaft together with the connecting rods and the pistons we don't really need the piston that much okay cylinder head so if you are using a, an F23 block like this one here it's obvious that you are going to be needing to plug one of the uh, or two oil galleys which is the forward side which is this one just to make your life easier you could buy KS tuned it only cost like 43 something dollars it's just nothing but a, a aluminum plug or a, or a steel I'm not sure what kind of material but it it has like three o-rings on there and then you just put it on but if you're in a budget you just grab one of these from your auto parts this is for uh, I think this is to plug the water uh, lines or something yeah but get two of these but it's obvious that one of them will be a little bit too big but all I did was shave that rubber and change the washer so it will fit this hole put it on tighten it and then smear some RTV on it uh, this is the silicone that I use I got this from uh, my auto parts store it's called mega gray and i found out that this is the same as honda band so there's no need for me to uh, drive and go to my stealer ship and spend 15 dollars to get one of those head gasket please do not be confused on head gasket it's not really that uh, that difficult i have been using a honda oem head gasket ever since and i never had any problem with this so do yourself a favor and just get only Honda OEM. And you would not have any problem. We, we tried other brand aftermarket. The leak is coming from here. It's a little bit, somehow they made it too, too thin, this area right here. And it just barely covered the hole right there and that's where it's leaking the one thing that you have to watch for on this one is pay attention on this copper uh, seal the one that holds the sheets together just make sure when you lay it out that it's not being compressed by the block and the head for example this one is right on this one so there's plenty of gap there so it's not going to be 
more like in a way and this one here if you put it in to the block I think but just watch for it okay anything that it's gonna be sandwiched together just take it off you're okay to take it off because you are uh, you have this pin to hold the gasket together anyway to align it yeah it's okay without it yeah there's no reason to worry those are just to hold them together so it won't separate on you but if you have this then they're all aligned but this one is used and I never removed it so far I have not run on anything that uh, that I need to remove those things so far just watch for it okay head bolts uh, we are using H22 head bolts for the G23 setup for NA build it's okay but it'll be nice if you can get a new uh, Honda OEM head bolts but the price on those new one is almost the same as ARP bolts I think or probably a little bit less so might as well get a ARP head studs and this thing was like 27 26 years old so yeah it's better to start new engine mounts of course if your uh, block came in with the uh, f23 uh, engine bracket just either roll a piece of ear like I, what i did here and i made a blog about this one here or have someone to uh to weld it for you you have three choices actually second is h22 just line up the two holes and the one in the bottom just weld the piece here to make it thicker and start elongate the the bottom holes just enough for the bolts to go in and the third option would be a bracket from a CB7, which is the 1990 all the way to 1993 Honda Accord CB7. And it's a plug and play. Water cooling. So you need a F23 cooling lines. Just mark it up and an H22. So it's up to you where do you want it to be cut. It's either here or here. Just simply use a rubber hose to connect them and with two clamps. Or you can weld it or you can pay someone to weld it. And you're going to be using an H22 from 1992 to 2001 thermostat housing. H22A or H22A4, they're all the same. So you need a Honda Prelude thermostat housing. Water pump, of course, if you have an F23 block, you need an F23 pump. But you need to remove the gears from it and install a P13 or an H22 water pump gear in it. And I already have a blog about making one of these. So again, feel free to roam my channel. Or you could buy a KS tuned water pump for G23 and you already set. I think it costs like 150 something dollars. So it's a plug and play. I am not uh, sponsored by that company, okay? By the way. Timing bolts. You are going to be using a H22 timing belt together with an H22 crankshaft gear. So anything that uh, the H22 timing belt touch, you're going to be needing an H22 crankshaft gear and water pump gear. Belt tensioner. F23 already got one. So just use that. And if you want to use the uh, KS tuned adjustable tensioner, that's all up to you. Uh, just be mindful when you set the timing uh, belt tension that 
you don't get it too tight otherwise you will hear some whining noise on your uh, motor balance shaft delete it's up to you if you wanna delete your balance shaft uh, I always uh, I have not tried it yet that was in my my parts list to use an aftermarket uh, like an ATI dampener but it didn't happen I have mentioned that I did not delete my balance shaft before because Honda engineer gave us one for free and it doesn't really cost me $500 to use a dampener well the reason being actually is because I am hearing some noise on a cold start up that's why some humming noise so when I build the third one third G23 boost engine I said to myself if I ever delete my balance shaft I am going to use a dampener but I did not so I kept my balance shaft and it didn't cost me $500 yeah that's the reason why but it, it's all up to you the O pump of course if you have the delete kit then you would have something like this but this is I made this myself just follow their instructions as far as plugging the oil galleys and all that oil cooler this is optional it's okay to run without it but if you chose to use one yeah I made a blog about this one on how to install one so feel free to check it out on my channel if you wish just be careful when you uh, remove this plug otherwise you could ruin your block just heat it up or warm it up first before you give it a, a turn so next is piston I probably will talk a lot about piston and hopefully I won't get confused and even get you even more confused how to pick the size for your piston make sure to measure your cylinder bore diameter first and find out if you're within limits if you're within specs then you can use an 86 millimeter the standard size for new beginners if you just want to build you know slap parts in it and call it a day then stay 86 again make sure you're within spec if you're not within spec then you're going to uh, to the next size which is 86.5 or 86.25 and you would have plenty of meat the iron sleeve if you bore it out to 87 only NA setup just to get your project going to make it a lot easier everybody's using a K20 A2 piston it's because it's already proven and someone already paved the uh, the way for us so you just need to execute that's all you need so don't get confused why are we picking type S piston it's because of this is H22 piston by the way it almost mimic or it's almost the same angle as far as the valve release and also all the cuts and everything that being said just in case you snap your timing belt your valves will not hit the piston well that's the idea but sometimes <laughs> you'll have a, a kiss to lip with that uh, <laughs> If you're you're running your motor so much in a high rpm when you miss a gear and snap the belt boom right there no guarantee anyway but yeah that's the reason why we are using a k20 a2 piston it's because of the valve uh, reliefs and also by doing so the type s piston it give us a much higher compression ratio like 11 to 1 compression ratio so it's up to you if you want to use an 86 millimeter 86.5 or 87 I have the piston here for comparison this is F23 K20 and H22 
and let me show you the offset the difference as far as like the wrist pin the wrist pin hole on the F23 is a little bit towards the intake side the K series is towards the exhaust valve okay. the H22 in other hand it doesn't have one it's right at the center and it has a different piston compression height also the F23 and the K series have 30 millimeter H22 have 31 so if you line these two up together since it has the same piston compression height it lined up together right right here compared to H22 if you line those wrist pin hole together this one sticks out farther about 20,000 so if you put the H22 piston on the F23 connecting rods and once you put it inside the block this area here will sticks out farther and it will give you a lot of compression and then the H22 since it has a a wrist pin hole offset opposite of the F series if you put this on your F23 connecting rods you have to put this backwards and you have to put it in a way it's gonna be like this that the uh, intake will be facing the exhaust valve and the exhaust relief will be facing the intake on your G23 it's because so uh, to mimic the offset right there see towards this side this, this towards this side because otherwise if you put it the normal it will be the other way around that's why when you uh if you are reading it or someone tells you oh you have to flip that piston backwards meaning do it the other way around where you're gonna mimic the wrist pin offset of the F23 piston. Okay, uh, piston size selection. Again, you have a 86, 86.5, and 87. When you buy a OEM used piston, just be aware of the ring lens I try to stay away from a uh, used one because you don't know how long or how many mileage that thing is it been through and by the time it gets to you you might have a crack on your ring lens and something that you don't know and you suffer the consequences so it's really it's up to you I'm not saying don't use it but just be mindful of it some have used uh, a used one and they never had any problem, but it could be your luck. So, yeah, that's your choice. Or if you want to use an H22, a used H22 A4 piston like this. You can send your block to get bored to 87 millimeter and just simply use the H22 A4 together with F23 connecting rods. But using h22 a4 will give you a much higher compression ratio i think the last time i checked it will give you an 11.8 to 1 compression ratio because uh it will stick out about 20,000 past the block choosing a bearings or a piston seal rings you can use npr or Hasting I never had any problem with this brand this part number is not for this uh, piston it's for a K24 I was thinking about uh, using a K24 piston before but it didn't get through uh, ACL and King I always look for the best price I don't have any really uh, favorite in between the two so anything that's on sale that's the one I usually go for, but you'll never have any problem with any of these two uh, brands. The spark plugs, if you are building a G23, get 
the uh, NGK BKR7E. It's much colder plug. That way you would not have a detonation on your setup. Again, BKR7E, NGK. So I think that's just about it and I have covered, I think, everything as far as the piston selection. And again, don't get confused on the piston. Just do like what everyone does. OEM or if you type in Nippon Racing Piston or just type on eBay, just type in JDM Nippon Racing Piston and the K20A2 Piston will pop up and you can get those. You have three choices on Nippon Racing Piston. One is for uh, RSX Type R and one is for Civic Type R and the third one is for a DC5 Integra Type R. But they're all for K20A2. But it will give you more higher compression ratio than this one, than USDM. And I am going to include a short video. You guys probably saw it already. But that was a G23 that I built way back about six years ago. And it's still going on YouTube. And uh, I was using a Civic Type R piston. That was a Nippon Racing uh, piston. I am not sponsored by this product, okay? And uh, yeah, that piston, I have to modify it just so I can copy the shape of the intake release onto the exhaust that was heavily modified that piston and it works well i think that's just about it as far as g23 VTEC parts list version 2.1 i think i have covered just about everything and uh, if anything that you guys wanted to uh, to know and anything that you wanted to make it clear off yeah just uh leave a comment and make sure to like and hit that thumbs button man and like and share and this is how to build a g23 using h22 a4 block that's coming up next stay tuned guys well thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys back next time. Bye everyone. Take care.